Welcome back to the 2004 National Wrestling Championships. We're on ESPN, and we've got an SB Award winner right there in the red. Hale Sanderson, the undefeated collegian, the world silver medalist from last September's championship in Madison Square Garden, going up against Lee Fullhart, one of the few athletes that has a, a, a successful outing against Sanderson. Sanderson doesn't wait at all. He goes right out and gets some leg attack going. Fullhart trying that low ankle counter. I've got Dan Gable pushing me and pardon me trying to get well, position. It, it's just, I just can't believe that Fullhart has been able to look like he might be able to possibly keep the points off the scoreboard, but it's not over yet. But uh, And here comes, uh, he's got his knee He's got his knee there. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, if he comes out of this without any points, I'm telling you, you have to give a lot of credit. There, there it is. Yeah. That was the longest finish I think I've seen in the whole tournament. Look at this, they're in a scramble position. They're in a scramble position still. He's right back into this. The, possibly this is, uh, uh, this is again, this, this is wrestling here. This is wrestling. This, this is, is great. a little bit of collegiate, yeah, Adam. And it looks like maybe. Well, turn it off. Wow, and look, play. look at this. Look at this. As long as Sanderson has the end of Full Heart's leg, they may not give him any points. But this is one of Sanderson's great positions now, finishing low on the end. And he's coming up in the air with it again. If he comes up in the air with it again, of course, they, they can't give him another point off it, even though he did a lot of wrestling. Wow, that's some good wrestling, position wrestling. So they're going to stand him up and let him go at it again. But, you know, that might have been one of the longest finishes, but that was also the quickest shot that we've seen in this tournament by Sanderson. Underhooked by Fullhart. Well, these two athletes, uh, at least in my opinion, are, are heads and tails above the rest of the competition at this weight class. And they know it'll be they'll be right back at each other again at the Olympic trial. So even a lead is not what they want. They want dominance. They want to be able to carry momentum. And uh, that maybe that's why there's so much action here in the first minute and a half or a minute and well, a half to go. And we've seen a lot of wrestling. Well, if there's any, if conditioning's a factor here, it's certainly, uh, they, there's been some straining in this first minute and a half. Watch Sanderson's right hand. When it goes to the head of full heart, look for him to go down on the inside. It's almost a, it's almost a sign of what's going to happen. I haven't seen uh, full heart controlling with an underhook as much in the past, but there's another quick point. Wow, he just, um, that's Sanderson. He, He's getting to his ankle. He muscled. He muscled him that time. There's Cody Sanderson, Kale's older brother. He's now the head coach at Utah Valley State University, uh, one of the shining spots in college wrestling. That's a new program out there. Except they have to wait for a few years to be able to wrestle postseason, and that's absolutely a rule that needs to be uh, looked at by the NCAA to get him back. We need the program back in situation. There's a potential scramble again, and, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, it's... Uh, Sanderson is doing a great job, but Fullard's wearing on him, and it could be a reversal, but he's got that tight. I'm not sure what they're going to do here. There's a point for Fullhart, and he's got a tight arm here. Well, no, not anymore. Fullhart coming right back at Kale Sanderson and scores 2-1 to one now. Anything could happen here. You know, one thing about Sanderson is he's kind of predictable, but at the same time, you can't stop it. It's not a bunch of flash. Very methodical. Comes look at right this, in. look at this, the two-pointer. Oh. Unbelievable. I don't, I mean, that was, that was pure power. It must have been, because Sanderson really didn't hesitate on, on going over. But uh, it's a long ways from being over. This is just five seconds to go. That's in the first period yeah. in a, a three-to-two There's been a lot of wrestling, and it looks like both guys are a little bit weathered, but uh, see what happens here. Great look at the two combatants, Lee Fullhart in the blue, Kale Sanderson in the red. Iowa versus Iowa State. Here we go. With four seconds left in the first period, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more action from the Las Vegas Convention Center right after this. One of the big matchups of the evening at 84 kilos. You're looking at an ESPY Award winner. You mentioned uh, Kale Sanderson in the red. He's trailing. Uh, one of the things he doesn't do very often, Lee Fullhart in the blue. He's got a 3-2 lead. Here's how we got there. Underhook by Fullhart. Good wrist control, though, and just ankle picking. Fullhart made the mistake of letting Sanderson control his wrist, but edge of the mat. And then here's Fullhart hits a good gut wrench for a two-point exposure. So it's... It's full heart up, three to two, but you can bet that Sanderson's going to be looking for low ankle attacks. Full heart, uh, 
uh, you know, is, has been scored upon by Sanderson here a lot, and he's, and he's moving hard. Again, watch that hand. Right hand on the head. Look for him to go down low on the left. So it's a very tactical match. Dan, how, do, how does Sanderson, I know a lot of people try to figure out, how does he know how to get that ankle pick and when that foot's going to be there? It's like it's magic. It's timing. It's timing. It's, it's like going through live wrestling. It's not just drilling because you have to have timing. The timing doesn't happen with drilling because your opponent has to actually uh, react. And so it's, it's a lot of live combative wrestling, and he's got a style that's really tough to, to, to stop. And uh, Fuller's really getting an underhook in and slowing him down a lot more, even though he did score here last time. You know, you talked about Iowa, Iowa State. We've also got Sunkiss versus Gator Wrestling Club out here, just two wrestling clubs, two of many that USA Wrestling has around the country. Look at this call here. Look at this call. There's Jim Ravenek, the president of the Gator Wrestling Club. He's coaching his way to his Gator wrestler, Lee Fullhart, and, and, and that's Terry Brands uh, and, and, and they're helping put, out, too. They're putting Sanderson down, and he's behind, and they gave Fullhart a, uh, a position of, of authority here. But they're going to turn it around. If nothing's happened in another minute, then they're going to put Fullhart down. But this is where Fullhart scored. Now, the real test is whether Fullhart gets back into a position to score again because he did do such a good job there. But at, but at the same time, whether he still got the energy and got the, you know, he, this is the position that he, he got him two points before. Kale's going to fight him off, though. They're going to bring him to the standing position. Well, both these athletes, world class. Uh, Kale Sanderson's just been just a cut above where Lee Fullhard is. But in this match, Lee Fullhard's making a, a statement. Motion on the feet is big. Control action there by both athletes how much is coaching uh, before the match even starts is are you any, kidding me <laughs> it's huge isn't it coaching's huge yeah but you know you try to develop independence in your athletes as well but coaching you always have to be coachable and when you just once there it is there right it is. there good position head comes up the head comes up that means uh full hearts in trouble a little bit but now he's lost there's a bear hug and he comes out of it look at this there's points for uh Oh, the, no points on that. Fullard broke out of it. There was no control on the takedown. They both were driven out of bounds. No score on that particular move. But the fact that the counter even took place was, was amazing. Credit, you got to credit Fullhart on that one. He fought it off tremendously. But then turned it around. It looked like he uh, you know, almost scored points himself. Well, Fullhart has that magic third point. 56 seconds uh, left. Sanderson, he's going to be in some more opportunities. He's not going to let this one go down. So, uh, full hearts control. And, oh, my god! And that is a point on the edge of the mat. Wow. You know what the difference is? That underhook. I have not seen him control Sanderson in an underhook like this. That underhook plus his forward movement. He's just coming at him that, and coming straight ahead. powerful there. Straight ahead with power and direction. We don't see this a whole lot with Kale Sanderson here You know, here another key country. thing is 47 seconds to go. It's how hard the top man's going to work here to get that clock to tick down because that's going to be a key type of situation. If he just kind of hangs on, you're going to get 10 seconds. Otherwise, you're going to get 20 or 30. So it's up to Fullhart, really, how hard he wants to work here to be able to, uh, you know, get, get an advantage here. But they're, they're going to put him up here relatively soon. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to go back down. Or, uh, uh, what are they doing? Oh, they're no, they're going to stand him up. Fullhart wanted the gut wrench on that, but Sanderson would give it to him. Referee gave him enough time to make it happen. It didn't happen, so they come back to the standing position. This, this match isn't over. Even though it's 4-2, to two, there he is again. Yeah, that time he... Oh, it is. It looks like it is over. I think it is over. And, you know, Lee Fulmer wow. is now training in Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center, mm -hmm. and he's looking real good. It, it sounds like a decision. Sanderson's uh, going to have to try something that's, uh, you know, a reversal. Look at this. He's, 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 he's I'll, give, him, I'll give him credit. He's, uh, he's going to try to get a, uh, and he's going to get, oh, wow. Both guys have, are still circling. <laughs> what, they got some rubber in their <laughs> this knees This is like something. we started out when they were That's a big out. win for Fullhart. It's a big win for Fullhart. Yeah. And he could not have picked a better time than right here at the national championships. I'll tell you, uh, Kale Sanderson is, you know, he's looking forward to this Olympic medal, but now he's going to have to fight his way through and meet this guy in the finals of Indianapolis. That's worth the price of admission right there. Alone. So uh, they, they better be getting their ticket. So Lee Fullhard rises above, and here's how he gets that gut. That was a, got his hips under there, hip to hip, rolled through, and the elbow, see, that's the two-pointer. Could have went hand-to-hand, -hand, it would have only been one. Nice and tight, nice finish also by Fullhart on that gut wrench. 
Joined now by Lee Fullhart, uh, just defeated Kale Sanderson. A lot of people in this building tonight might consider this an upset. I'm sure you use that for a lot of motivation heading into this match. No, I mean, this is just a process. I mean, I, I want, Olympic gold is my goal. So this is just something I got to do. Uh, you know, I've beaten him before, and I know I can beat him. And I'll have to beat him again. I'll see him again in the trials. Because I'm sure he'll come through and there's, you know, somebody else steps up, but I'll be ready to go. So Lee Fullhart is your national champion. He's the number one seed going into the Olympic trials in May. Congratulations to him. We'll be back with more wrestling action right after this from the Las Vegas Convention Center.